There are a lot of things that could have happened if the Third Reich had won the Second World War back in 1945. A whole lot of things would not have been the same today, given the anti-Semitic ideology that the Germans possessed at the time. There would have been continuous killing of Jews at an even unprecedented scale, and countless numbers of other races that the Nazis deemed inferior and Nordic. Also, we probably wouldn't have been able to make this video and YouTube might not even exist. In today's video, we'll be exploring the possible outcome of events that could have unfolded if Germany had won the Second World War, so sit back and enjoy. But before we jump right in, make sure to give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell to receive notifications of when we post more enthralling historical videos like this one. Do leave us a comment as well, as we'd love to read your opinion on what a Nazi-dominated world would have looked like. Now, let's dive in. To answer the question, what if Germany won the war, we need to go back in time to address what Germany could have done to win the Second World War, and how would Germany have won? We need to understand that the Nazis were destroyed by a combination of three allying countries, and if such a formidable alliance hadn't been birthed, victory could have been Hitler's and the Nazi armies, and the history of the world could have been completely different from how we know it today. The three allies of America, British and the Soviet Union had to work together to bring down Hitler, with each country providing the necessary support to achieve victory. The British Empire had control of many ports, air bases and troop centers around the world, and it also had the world's largest naval fleet back in the 1940s. The United States brought its financial war chest, and due to its location being far away from Europe, it was able to manufacture and produce countless war machines and weapons without the fear of sudden airstrikes or attacks. America served the coalition by fortifying itself and its allies with sophisticated weapons. The Soviet Union shared the most proximity with Nazi Germany, and as such were the first line of defense, like the pawn in the game of chess. The Soviets realized early that they'd be doing most of the work and faced more Germans than other allies would, but without supplies and artillery from its partners, the Soviets couldn't have survived. The coalition of the three powerful countries was the main determinant of Germany's defeat, but the story and world history could have been completely had this coalition not been born. Our timeline begins in the 1930s, when the Nazis reoccupied the Rhine with troops occupying Austria and Czechoslovakia as a defiance of the Treaty of Versailles. War breaks out in Europe in 1939 and Germany invades Poland. Britain and France in turn declared war on Germany. France surrendered in June 1940 and Britain's Prime Minister is assassinated by Nazi agents. And by 1941, Britain stands alone in the West to battle the Nazis in North Africa for control of colonies and oil fields. At the same time, Japan invades China and other British colonies in Asia. The war between Japan and China escalates and the Chinese suffer military defeats and inhuman subjugation from Japan. In June 1941, Germany dissolved its alliance with the Soviet Union and invaded it because it saw the USSR as a potential location for German expansionism. Britain and China at the time would be receiving vast amounts of supplies, ammunition, aircraft and tanks from the United States due to existing trade policies between the countries. Britain was also able to supply the Soviets with supplies and ammunition to keep fighting the Nazis. Although Britain was helping the war effort against Germany by supporting the Soviets and rearming its extended colonies across North Africa against German invaders, both countries wouldn't be able to keep up for long because without America's supply of vast ammunition and weapons, they had no chance. America maintained an isolationist policy and didn't interfere. This would have caused German forces to win the Battle of Stalingrad and gave them access to the vast oil fields that the Soviets possessed, and in the Middle East as well. With these two victories, Germany would have likewise gained the needed manpower, land, resources and industrial infrastructure it needed to build machines of war to fuel its expansion. Had the Great Alliance not been birthed and coupled with the vast resource now available to Hitler, Germany would have been able to develop even more sophisticated war machines with which it would have successfully orchestrated the invasion of Britain. A Nazi administrator would have been installed in Britain, with Britain's monarchs likely imprisoned or executed. By 1945, Japan, a strong ally of Germany at the time, would have gained control over all of Asia and the Pacific, and Germany on the other hand would have occupied most of Europe, Africa, the Caribbean, Mexico and Canada. The Nazis and the Japanese now dominated most of the continents surrounding the United States. 
Although America would be in possession of nukes with which it could destroy cities and wouldn't budge against the German threats, the Germans at the same time would have gained access to the nuclear weapons as well and developed German-made nuclear arsenal as Hitler was known for directing most national funds towards military advancement and innovation of weapons of mass destruction. With the rate at which the Nazi Germany was rapidly expanding its territorial borders at the time, they were considered years ahead of most countries in terms of military armaments. So it would not be surprising to see the Germans had their nuclear bombs as well. With America's refusal to surrender or budge to German threats and domineering tendencies, a much fatal fate would have befallen the country right after Hitler gained complete domination over Europe. Right from when Germany's invasion would have commenced, both countries would have ferociously deployed nuclear warheads against each other, with both suffering great casualties. But America would have had the greatest casualties. That would have included a large civilian population as well. With no support coming from anywhere as Europe would have been completely subjugated, Germany and its allies, especially Japan, would have rained bombs heavily on the United States and leave the country almost completely wiped out. America would have been left with no choice but to surrender. Resistance fighters and militia may have continued to battle all across territories now dominated by German forces, but by 1947, all resistance would have been completely broken. The US would have been divided into regions among Germany and its allies for easy rule, and Germany would have been in control of much larger regions. The Jewish population in America would witness rapid extermination, and after all attempts at resistance by the Americans would have been completely eliminated, Germany and its allies would have ruled their new territory using a buffer system, maintaining very limited presence in their territories. This would allow Hitler to commit his resources to invading other parts of the world and making the entirety of the world nations Nazi-dominated territories. With Nazi ideology leaving no room for internationalism, the buffer in America wouldn't last, as Germany would soon seek to take over the territories of its allies in America and possibly Italy and Japan themselves. With Germany winning the war, the great anti-Semitic movement would be greatly propagated, and millions of people from different races would die. The world would have seen the extinction of countless different breeds of humans that walked the earth. Races like the Jews, anyone who opposed Nazism, mentally ill, homosexuals, handicapped or disabled, would face intense discrimination or death. Some races and nations would be granted preferential treatment, and Germans would be at the top of the list. Hitler believed that Britons, Germans and Scandinavians were descendants of the Aryan race, so many people who fell under this category wouldn't face much discrimination compared to other races that Hitler deemed Nordic. In the Middle East, the Nazis would probably have been welcomed by Arabs, who had spent decades under British rule and disliked the Jews. Arabs who fought the British during World War II would probably be awarded honorary Aryan status by the Germans. It is also possible that the vast majority of the black in the US is enslaved once again, and those that are not enslaved are exterminated with the Jews and other races deemed undesirable by the Germans. Black people in Africa would probably face the same fate. There would be no such thing as the rule of law, democracy, fundamental human rights, elections or free speech. The indoctrination of Nazi ideologies would begin, and all power would be concentrated on one true leader which is the Führer himself. Hitler would be the law and the official language of the Nazi state would be German. Currencies would be Reichsmarks and the flags would be swastikas. If you were of Aryan descent, life would probably be peachy and rosy, especially if you pledged total loyalty to Hitler. The state would provide healthcare, education and opportunities to all native German citizens, and the German economy would probably grow at an exponential rate since they would employ cheap labor from races that they are deemed inferior. If you were of inferior origin, your life would likely be full of turmoil and despair. If you didn't fit the Aryan mold or weren't awarded an honorary Aryan status, for many, life would seem bleak and possibly very short. Foreign relations with the Germans would be close to non-existent. Although the Japanese and Italy might have a chance at maintaining good foreign relations with Germany with their status as allies, everywhere outside of those territories would be German territory, or a German-controlled one. There's also a very strong possibility that Germany will eventually take over Japanese and Italian territories should their alliance grow cold and sour, and especially as Germany attains very high levels of technological advancement. A situation of complete world domination by Germany would only be averted if German allies are likewise able to match Germany's technological advancement 
to make the possibility of an invasion beyond the realm of a possibility for Hitler and Nazi Germany. 